top of the afternoon to you. Neighborhood picks, YouTube, like, subscribe. Fantasy football, we got to get on it. We got to get on it. It's getting serious here. The waiver wire is coming up tomorrow morning, and there's a couple guys that I want to talk about that I like. Then there's a few guys I want to stay away from because of the situation. It's hard. We must identify the bottom third of the league as far as touchdowns scored. If teams only score one touchdown a game, do you really want the guy that's projected to have a good game when there's fucking guys like DJ Chark on the Lions? Goff is throwing. They're scoring five to seven touchdowns a game. These are guys I like. So I'm checking a few leagues. My boy Nate the Great. Nate, shout out to you, bro. Every time I look at something that I like, you already took it. You're on the ball. He took DJ Chark. He's there. Um, I like the tight end for Denver, Dolchich, the rookie, but he's he's on Russ, he's on the Cook team. Russ Cloudy with a chance of not cooking. Who called that in the beginning of the year? Who called Cloudy with a chance of Russ not cooking? Your boy called it. Um DJ Dallas. We don't know. Something happened to Kenneth Walker. I got Kenneth Walker. DJ Dallas is probably the next best thing. Uh, if, if, if Kenneth Walker can't go, it's going to be DJ Dallas. Now, something else I saw. We're just going to rapid fire down the line. I want you guys to hear these names. Dalvin Cook's little brother is James Cook for Buffalo. The only reason James Cook, in my belief, hasn't broken out yet is because he hasn't gotten the opportunity and Buffalo doesn't use running backs. I saw something from him. He looks like he's going to be a good player. I would be shocked if next summer he's not the soup, like the clear cut number one going into camp. James Cook. I like him a lot. Um, let's see in other leagues who's open. I got, I'm in a league where Deshaun Watson is available. Oh my God. How is Deshaun Watson available? But here's the thing Deshaun Watson's available. That's the one that's hanging over everybody. But if, now, I'm eliminated in this league, so I could just speak freely, this is this league with the guys down here. You could spend all your fab on Deshaun Watson, which kind of feels like it's you should, but then somebody's going to sneak right in and grab Jared Goff, who needs a quarterback, and it might be even better. Jared Goff is in his prime of his career. Everything's clicking. The Lions are going to be dangerous. They're playing bad teams down the stretch. I could see the Lions maybe making a playoff run, but as far as quarterbacks, they're thin. They're thin. In my Yahoo League with Carmelo, I just knocked Carmelo out. Sorry about that, Mel. That's why I'm wearing the Jets hat for you, bud. Um, I got the worst team. I got the worst points out of 12 guys, and I'm in first place. I'm 10 and 3. Yeah, a little luck. I need a little luck. But Pacheco's coming on in my backfield, so that saved me. I had an ACL with Williams, Pollard. Um, I picked up DJ Chark and, and DJ Dallas as my two waiver guys for this league this week because we were allowed to do it today. Olave's on a buy. Cordell Patterson's on a buy. There's a lot of people on a buy in week 14, so don't sleep on the waivers thinking you got all your guys. Make sure you're on top of your rosters. Um, another guy who's capable, everybody's looking at Njoku, Njoku. Okay, okay. He got seven targets this past week, three the week before. Njoku, Njoku. But guess who got five targets last week and five the week before? In case you guys are slow in math, that's ten targets for both guys in the last two weeks. Hunter Henry. And who who has more chemistry? Hunter Henry and Mac Jones after 13 weeks or Deshaun Watson and Njoku after two weeks? Everybody's looking at Njoku. I'm looking at Hunter Henry. Five targets, five targets, a big square chin. He's a tough guy. He's adorable. <laughs> and uh, I think he'll I think he'll do well. I, I like Hunter Henry as a sneak spot tight end. Dawson Knox, he caught seven balls for 70 yards. I know somebody who dropped a 40-burger on him for the fab, and he hasn't caught a fucking ball since. So I don't know what's going on with Dawson Knox. You got a better chance with Mike Gusecki. But um, there's a lot of stuff going on in the waiver. We're going into the final week of the fantasy football season, week 14. This is it. Where This is the, this is the witching hour of fantasy football, where guys make the playoffs and guys go to puts, and their season is off. Now... I'm the defending champ in the JFFL. That means I'm presenting the belt. This belt is staying on Beach Street. Ryan Patterson, do your thing. I don't want to have to give the belt over to P. Riz and, and C. Rich and T. Rich. That means they took over. The belt's got to stay on, on Beach. The belt is at the beach. So when I hand that belt over, I want to see, I want to see the, 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 the guys around here. All right? So T. Rich... 
You got your work cut out for you because Patty's ready. He's ready. P. Riz, you got to make the playoffs first, but you're dangerous. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not overlooking you. Not with that Eagles connection, boy. Woo! AJ Brown, didn't he whoop? AJ Brown got the Tennessee Titans GM fired. They fired him today after that fucking game. They traded him to the Eagles. He scored 800 touchdowns, and they were like, all right, you know what? You're fucking out of here. <laughs> and you know what? I'm out of here. Neighborhood picks. Love you guys. Like, subscribe, share it, tell a friend.